In a THV 11 update today, the presidential campaign carried on as former President Trump takes a break from his criminal trial to hit the shore, rallying thousands of supporters gathered in Wildwood, New Jersey. As for the Biden campaign, it has recently been working to rally its core voters too. Toreen Small reports on how Biden's team is ensuring black men especially are enthusiastic. Black voters helped swing Georgia for Joe Biden in 2020, but their support appears to be softening. I mean, it's, I guess it's the best we got. I think my vote's the same, but it's less enthusiastic. Oh, we're actually letting people know about the election coming up. And grassroots organizers are seeing signs black men are slow to return to his fold. The young black men are more likely to say that they will vote for Trump. Um, but what I would, what I am most concerned about this year is that about 30% were still undecided at the time of our poll. Hello, legend. Now six months out, the Biden campaign is retooling its messaging to those unenthused voters. It's why we're running organizing pilots uh, last year in cities like Milwaukee, targeted directly towards black men. We're now at a moment in time right now in April where we're scaling up those operations in all of our battleground states. Republicans are focused on peeling black men away from Biden's base just without the infrastructure it had in previous cycles. For example, this now shuttered office space right outside Atlanta used to be the RNC's Black American Community Center. Without it, they're leaning on local conservative groups like the Georgia Black Republican Republican Council for Outreach. We've done uh, black conservative summits, we've done barbershop mm -hmm. uh, political forums, uh, we bring government to the people uh, in the local communities where they can ask direct questions and get direct answers. Their pitch? Mentorship from generations of Republican black men without the national party. Do you think Republicans are doing enough outreach in black communities? We, we can do a better job. We have an opportunity to get a message out and uh, we're doing everything that we can to take advantage of that opportunity. Biden is still expected to pick up the majority of votes from black men in the Peach State, but with fewer than 12,000 votes here making the difference in 2020, his bid can't afford too many of them staying home in November. Torian Small, CBS News, Atlanta.